os quería poner un vídeo de una persona que nos ha, nos ha escrito, nos ha hecho un pequeño vídeo, que a lo mejor conocéis, no sé, igual no lo conocéis, no lo sé, no lo sé, me lo podéis comentar a ver si os suena, no suena, ¿vale? Y que os quería saludar, os quería saludar. A ver si conocen a este amigo, ¿vale? Así que voy a ponerme por aquí, vamos a poner esto. Why is my camera on? I'm, I'm, I'm live? Oh, well, I guess I'm streaming. Hey, y'all. What's good? Wait, this isn't even my stream. What? That says uh, MeDoConf? Is that MeDoConf? This isn't my channel. Oh, I'm speaking at MeDoConf? Well, hi there. Great to meet you. If you don't already know me, I'm Theo. I'm a software dev focused mostly on web dev TypeScript stuff. I have a YouTube channel that's pretty popular where I talk all about TypeScript. I'm well known for the T3 stack popularizing TRPC and being a bit of a Vercel shell. I'm so pumped to be here. Because believe it or not, y'all kind of proved something I didn't think was possible. Back when I worked at Twitch, it was a strictly gaming platform when I started. What do I mean by that? When I started, one of the biggest partners was a League of Legends streamer. So he'd win a game, do a quick dance, and then go back to playing. He was actually contacted by Twitch, letting him know if he continued to do that, he would be banned from the platform. Because Twitch isn't a dancing platform, it's a gaming platform. Similarly, Twitch was certainly not a coding platform, it was a gaming platform. And I was scared when I joined, but the goal was to make non-gaming possible. We were focused on the music and art stuff. I wrote the code for the Bob Ross Marathon, but the goal there was to prove that things that weren't gaming were actually viable on Twitch. As big as I was into code, I just didn't think code on Twitch was gonna be a thing. Not only was I wrong, I was monumentally so, as we see now by the thousands of people watching this event live. Even when code started to get a little attention on Twitch, it seemed very much like a Western phenomenon. People who were coming in from the US who spoke English just talking about code. Y'all proved that it goes so much further than that. There is a hunger for an interactive, high quality software development community. And that extends way past our US English speaking San Francisco communities. There are so many people all around the world who are looking for a community like this one to hang out in, learn, and better themselves as engineers, be it someone brand new to coding or someone who's been doing it for 20 plus years. MeduConf is one of the best examples of the thing I didn't think was possible. Real, important, impactful live events that bridge gaps that aren't just technology gaps, but cultural and world gaps. This event is so, so cool. And I'm honored that for whatever reason, Miru hit me up and asked me for something to shove into it. So thank you so much for having me. I hope you all know how much we appreciate you. If it wasn't for the work that you guys are doing, I don't know if I'd be on here at all anymore. So seriously, you proved my understanding of Twitch wrong and I used to work there. Keep killing it, keep raising the bar, keep getting new and old developers alike excited about web development and development as a whole. These communities are more important than you know. Thank you all as always. Peace nerds. Pues nada, amigos, eh, Cío, el año pasado le pedimos un saludito, no pudo, se le escapó y tal. Este año le he vuelto a escribir, le he dicho, oye, Cío, este año no se te puede pasar la oportunidad de pasarte por la MiduConf, saludar a toda la comunidad. Y la verdad es que hizo este vídeo tan bonito que al menos a mí me emociona mucho porque quiere decir que el sueño que teníamos de que la comunidad hispanoparlante tuviese un impacto hacia afuera, ¿no? Porque siempre pues, nos viene en inglés, que, que se agradece y es encantador, pero que también nos gusta pues, poder hablar en español, ¿no? Y que esto también tenga un, un eco en todo el mundo, pues como podéis ver, eh, es una realidad. Así que muchas gracias a Cío, gracias a vosotros también por hacer esto tan increíble y sobre todo gracias 